by my understanding if i look at them with a lot of uh, attention will i be able to get hints towards the truth obviously and you need not confine your observation to flowers or birds you may even look at man's building whether you look at a bird's nest or a man's house this or th- or this or even this you'll come to know a lot about this thing called little self all is the same why to say that prakriti is only about the jungle the concrete jungle too is prakriti you have to be receptive when you say that quality of attention has to be at highest it scares me a bit because it smells of tension the feel that i get is of tension rather than attention hmm something has to be at its highest <laughs> you rather have to be relaxed and just receptive it comes to you you don't have to chase it you simply have to unlock your door and these two are very different approaches hmm what does the devotee do he just opens his doors and waits calmly waits he doesn't want to enforce his will there is no resistance from my side and that's that most i can do non resistance active pursual would all be within yourself you are actively pursuing the beyond within yourself what will you get hmm it's like looking for a hippopotamus in the inner circle of connaught place and you are very alert <laughs> you are checking out every man woman and child are you the one but all that you are doing within a self declared periphery the inner circle of connaught place and you are saying i must find hippopotamus here you won't get it there instead let yourself lose get out of this boundary feel free chill out is it also in another way referred to as abandon as a abandon abandon being a abandon yeah obviously obviously gay abandon hmm care free abandon it comes to you when you are not looking for it that's its nature it doesn't like stalkers it comes to you on its own just don't be occupied elsewhere patiently silently peacefully devotedly just wait abandon the search the active search at least you are reading krishna murti he calls it it passive awareness the stress is on passivity ego loves activity hmm the bhakt is 
very passive. The pursuer of knowledge is very active. The best example is this session itself. If you try to do anything with my words or with your reception, then you will make a mess of everything. You just have to passively receive. And that's a lot of work. But that's a lot of inner work. When you are hunting, that's external work. You are going out to hunt. When you are going out to hunt, then you are trying to shoot down the truth. When you are hunting within, that's a lot of work. But now, who is being shot at? You. So instead of trying to shoot down the truth, hunt within and shoot down everything that resists the truth. That's a lot of work. Passivity too requires a lot of effort. That's right effort. Yesterday we were talking of work, right? And it's not introspection. It's higher than that. You have to very honestly admit that within you which stands in fear of and in opposition to the real thing. And then bang, bang, bang. What the hell are you doing within? No, that can't happen. Being passive means being very, very receptive to the real thing and therefore actively hunting down all that which would oppose the real thing. If you are listening to something that arises from falseness and would rather corrupt or pollute you within, then passivity would mean that you hunt this very thing down. Because what is it that you hunt down in passivity? The barrier against truth. And many a times, the barrier against the real thing is that which poses as the real thing, but is not. What is the barrier against the right teaching? The wrong teaching. So passive receptivity would mean hunting down all the wrong teaching. Passive receptivity is not like opening your door? No, it is open to everything. But it is not about opening your door and going off to sleep and thereby allowing just anybody to enter. No, it's about keeping the door open and waiting with a garland and a gun. This is passive receptivity. The door is open and I am waiting with a garland and a gun. Garland is for my beloved and the gun is for yeah, those who pose as
the real thing.